This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by Ka'anapali Beach Resort, where the world comes to play. Aloha, you got Lanai with Cooking Hawaiian Style, Season 9, presented by Ka'anapali Beach Resort. Today in the kitchen, one of America's top chefs, from Tin Roof, the executive chef, Sheldon Simeon. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii, when you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chef Sheldon Simeon. How you doing, brother? Hello, man. Thanks for joining us, man. Yes, yeah, you, You've me. been busy. All over the place. All over the world. How yeah. many miles you got now? Oh, I stay platinum, though. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> yeah. do have platinum You know, once status. you go platinum, I don't think they let you go down, right? You stay yeah, you platinum. just uh, hopefully I can keep that. First class all the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good for you. What's the last thing you've been working on? I've got a new restaurant opening up soon. Yes. Uh, yeah, so it's at the Shops of Wailea. Congratulations. Uh, called Lineage and continuing that, that home-style cooking yeah. and my food of my upbringing. Yeah. That is so awesome. And you, today, what are you going to make? Uh, I know we're going to... Exactly like how I cook it. You know, the yeah. first dish is bottom of the plate lunch. All right. And Explain what a plate lunch is. Plate lunch is you go to two scoop rice, uh -huh. macaroni salad, and you know, terry beef or cowboy yeah. ribs. Yes. But I don't, here in Hawaii, we put the cow, the cabbage yes. on the bottom. Even well, the sashimi, right? Sashimi. Well, growing up, four <laughs> yeah. pound cabbage, two, two piece sashimi. <laughs> yeah, that's how you knew you was poor. All right, so obviously we need some cabbage. Yeah, we need cabbage. Okay. We're going to shave that a little bit later, okay. but we're going to make the sauce. And All right. This, this is just going to mimic the sauce that. Okay what you would find with Kobe. All right. A little bit of manteca or some beef fat. Beef fat. Beef now you've fat. been doing this uh, series on uh, online called yeah. Eater. What, tell everybody what that's about if they haven't uh, seen that yet. Yeah, if you go on, on YouTube, uh, I do a series uh, with Eater called uh, Cooking in America. Yeah. And basically it's uh, showcasing uh, all the immigrants, uh, restaurant owners and chefs throughout the country. And that's awesome. I, How much did you put here? Uh, about Half cup show you. Okay, aloha show you. Yeah. All right, what we got next? This is brown sugar. Brown sugar. And how did the whole eater thing come about? Did it find you? Uh, they, they came to Hawaii and we got to showcase Hawaii. And uh -huh. we brought them back to my dad's house, cook underneath uh, the garage. Yeah. And then we went to all these different restaurants in Hawaii. And it was such a great experience that uh, they asked me to come back for a few more seasons. That's awesome. I mean, this, the videos are getting millions of hits. <laughs> yeah. Millions of hits. Do people recognize you from Eater? Yes, they have been. Yeah. It's been it's been pretty wild. I was just in Alaska, of yeah. all places, and uh, right in a small little pizza joint, uh, taking some photos. That's up awesome. There. All right, so we got that. Show you sugar. Uh, okay. That's the basis of everything, right? Uh huh. Ginger. Ginger. About a tablespoon. Yeah. Teaspoon. Teaspoon. Okay. Chili pepper. Oh, some bar. Okay. Who did you watch uh, cooking when you were growing up? Harry's Kitchen. <laughs> Harry's Kitchen. I never, I never missed it. And yeah. all the weekends was was fishing tales. Uh -huh. Let's go fishing and Harry's Kitchen. For those of you watching in New York, Harry was a, a well-known local man who used to go fishing, take his catch and make recipes out of it. Cook for us yeah. on television. Just a little bit cider vinegar, just for some pop. Okay. Uh, and then what else some, we got there? A little bit more sugar. Sugar. Oh yeah, just just a little bit more for kind of contrast between the brown and just All regular right. sweet. Who taught you how to cook? Uh, my family. Yeah. And you know, to this day, I still call my dad the best chef that I know. Isn't that amazing? And it's not because he's making perfect swipes or dots uh -huh. or technique, but. He just has a way of making delicious food. Yeah. And yeah. in the end, that's all it's it is. You are, know? are a lot of his recipes on your menus? Uh, not exactly, but, but it's, it's all influenced from, yes, influenced yeah. by that. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite dish you made growing up as a kid that you can always remember? My comfort food when you're yeah. away, you know, on these long trips. And what is that one thing you uh, want to eat from him? Pork and peas. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's pork and peas, yeah. uh, guisantes. Yeah, uh, pork think, guisantes, a Filipino dish with uh, tomato sauce, pimentos, pork and peas, what it is. Yeah, right? and then, you know, him might be letting it go, but the yeah. prima mushroom inside there. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dish. My friend used to come home and go, oh, how you made this sauce? In the crock pot, cream of mushroom. There you go. <laughs> so All green right, so onion. 
a little bit of uh, garlic. garlic and that's gonna finish off our sauce right there. Okay. And that's good. We let that rest. Okay. Right there. And that's it. And that's it. When that's we come back, we're one. gonna do the uh, the cabbage. The cabbage and then, you know, one pot important is the, the mac, mac salad. Oh, the mac salad, yeah, of course. The mac salad gets, gets seeped into that. Yes. And all mixed up too, so we'll make a puree people of always say that, People too. always say the rice is the star of the show. Ah, mac salad is the star of the show. I think you, that's yeah. how you gauge on Taylor's right. place. Exactly. Yeah. All right, we come back, we're gonna finish this all up. Uh, we got Chef Sheldon here. Don't go anywhere, it's cooking Hawaiian style. Wake up in the morning and I'm feeling fine On the windward side of life Kind of like a guiding light that shines and all that's right Yeah Rainbows are a common thing We'll kick, keep playing, laugh and sing There's no place I'd rather be This highland lies for me All my brothers and sisters Ka'ana Pali Golf Courses, where the world comes to play. At Maui Electric, we keep the lights on, at home, at school, and at work. Together, we're exceeding Hawaii's renewable energy goals. You've made Hawaii the leader in residential solar, and we're introducing Community Solar. You can charge electric vehicles at home and at charging stations throughout Maui. We're committed to a 100% clean energy future, and we'll get there working together. Maui Electric, empowering our communities, empowering you. Ooh, what did Grandma bring? Mm, she better not eat it all. Chase him, focus! Hit, Note Rice and Aloha Show You, the winning local favorite. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kaanapali Beach Resort. We got Chef Sheldon here, one of America's top chefs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's finish up what we're gonna do here. Yeah, so we had segment. we made the sauce, you know, oh, yes. that mimics the kalbi or whatever teriyaki on the bottom. Uh -huh. Then we need the macaroni salad, the idea of, of that mixing into it. So we're gonna make mac salad inside the blender, exactly. We get a lot of emails, people asking, where did the mac salad come from? <laughs> World War II, we were introduced uh, to the noodle. So you put a whole egg, whole and a egg. Tooth Two heaping spoons of mayo. Mayonnaise. Okay. And garlic you're, salt. You're gonna blend actually some of the elbow and macaroni. We're gonna blend in them there. and that way act as I'm binding for it to make the sauce awesome. you know, come together. Just a little bit of water just to bring them together. Okay. How often are you in testing stuff? Are you uh, every day? Every day. You every know? day. It's always like that that tweaking, you know? Yeah. Just just trying or you get inspired by right. maybe I go eat somewhere and then you, you see it going. Yeah. Ooh. Right there, it literally comes together just okay. like on puree. All and right. That's how we get inside here. Sounds good. Just like that. Now your your dad, we, you talked about your dad a lot yeah, and how yeah, we, yeah. Uh, you know, you learned a lot from him from cooking. What about your grandparents? My grandparents, well, you know, they were cicadas. They were the, uh -huh. they came when they were both teenagers uh -huh. and uh, just learned their old school way of not wasting yeah. and just like cooking food to not impress or get Instagram followers. Right. They were just to cook them to for eat, their family and to eat and survive. Now you, you were cutting cabbage here. This is from uh, from Maui, this cabbage. Yeah, this is Kula cabbage. Yeah. Uh, one of our most uh, highly uh, admired crops here on, on Maui. We were talking about not wasting anything and you uh, were talking about the core of the cabbage. What do you do with this? Yeah, and you know, we we found that the, the cabbage inside tastes almost like, like radishes. So uh -huh. we pickled them like, like daikon to make Brilliant. Don't waste the, the center of that cabbage. So you've been traveling all over the world. What do people say when you tell them you're from Maui? Uh, yeah, they think it's still exotic, you know? It's still like, no, we're part of the United States. <laughs> we're still yeah. like, this, like this jewel in the middle of the Pacific uh -huh. Ocean. But I always tell people we're not part of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right. awesome for share our culture, you of know? Of course, of course. There we go. Right. Sh shredded cabbage. Very okay. simple. We'll do a pile of that. All right. Just like that. Take and what our, do you got in the bottle there? This is our um, macaroni salad that was pureed. You pureed in the in the pureed in over the, the top of it. Okay. And just like. Uh, 
I never would have thought you putting the the elbow macaroni inside of the actual. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get that that whole yeah. idea of of it. Okay, and some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, like that, and the, then. You got that dressing that you made earlier. Got our dressing. Now, so what's going on with the with lineage? What kind of food are you? Because you got tin roof. Yeah. What kind of food are you gonna put in lineage? Is it gonna be the same? Uh, well, you know, it'll be in in Wailea, so a nicer yeah. little uh, restaurant. Uh, but pulling from from dishes and and techniques that we grew up with the lemons that was made on the roof you yeah. know toss that in a fresh pasta yeah. different uh, styles of preservation whether it be dry aku or pipi uh, pipi kaolo would be uh, our charcuterie board nice and uh, yeah just having fun with it that's amazing how long did it how long did it take you to come up with this concept or is it still being evolving it's still evolving and you know as i grow up grow up and see other and i travel other places i see how unique that hawaii is yeah. At one point in my career, I was trying to mimic and seeing what the chefs is doing in New York. Yeah. But we got it going on over here, our own little thing. And we I, do. We do. We just want to showcase that. I seen you food. do something online one time. For, it was in New York. It was a very upscale thing. And I think you made chicken heka. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's it right there. Because Lanai High School, that was the fundraiser, chicken heka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It was like plantation, poor food. But right. people love that stuff. People, it's you, there's no denying deliciousness, yeah. and we get a lot of delicious food in Hawaii. Yeah. All right. So, we, you, do you drizzle that on here? Yeah, drizzle them over, and okay. that's it. All right. And when we come back, what else are you gonna make? We're making a uh, soup and rice. Soup and rice. Perfect for this rain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Simple, but oh no. So don't go anywhere. Chef Sheldon hanging out with us. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. or like to cook oily foods? Of course you do. After frying your bacon fried chicken and lumpia, how do you dispose of your oil? Dump it down the drain? Fill up a mayonnaise jar? No more dumping down drains to clog plumbing and cause environmental hazards. Life just got easier with FogSafe. The FogSafe is environmentally friendly and no more dealing with glass jars or milk cartons. Simply put your old oil in a FogSafe container and watch the absorbent pads soak it up. When you're done, just throw it in the trash. For more information, go to fog-safe.com. Style. Cooking Hawaiian Style, available on Facebook, Instagram, and at cookinghawaiianstyle.com. With thousands of recipes with all your favorites from mom's gravy to tutu's beef stew, check out our website. Need a quick idea for your next potluck or family luau? We have shared recipes from famous chefs, celebrities, to local people. Visit cookinghawaiianstyle.com and let's get cooking. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by the Maui Electric Company. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Ka'ana Pali Beach Resort. Chef Sheldon, what are you going to make next? We make soup and rice. Yes. You know, as the, no, we don't eat baby foods. I right. know Filipino style. <laughs> right. For kids, we eat soup and rice and right. that's basically what we're going to okay. do. Okay, what do we need? Uh, so first thing is uh, spare ribs that okay. I just uh, roasted in the oven. Put them in the oven till come brown. Okay. And that's it. Pretty and easy. then insta pot. In, you no, got an insta one, pot. One. Okay, how many spare ribs you got there? Uh, that's about maybe one pound of that. Okay. And then chicken. Chicken. You got some wings. What did you do to the wings? The wings, same thing. Roast them at the at the same time. Okay. Too. And you put anything on it? Salt, pepper, anything? Uh, not nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Uh, I get I get leeks. Leek. Uh, we can put uh, one carrot inside okay. there. Okay. Uh, kind of sinigang action. Tomato, onion. Tomato ginger. and onion. And yeah, when garlic, he, bay leaf, okay. peppercorn. When he says sinigang action, you know, the Filipinos eat a dish, a soup. <laughs> you put everything in the kitchen, the vegetables, everything in there, and you make them sour. Yeah. That's a, a special kind of soup, okay? And then basically that's going to get filled up with water. Okay. To the top, we put the cover on them, and that gets turned on uh, just for half an hour. All right. And then I strain that out, and that's... So you made that already. That we made have that some out. Soon. And this thing, it, it extracts all of that flavor from yeah. that. And and so you, how much uh, stock did you add in there? I, I put about just to the thing covers the bones. Okay, and so I you got that. We'll put the whole recipe on our website, uh, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. And then how long did you set the Instapot for? Instapot's going to go for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Let it, the pressure subside, strain it out into a, into a pot, and you get like, this flavorful, rich stock from chicken and, and pork and then awesome. all the different vegetables. Perfect. All right, what are we doing next? Uh, apple cider vinegar. To the stock. To the stock. Okay and then a whole lot of patis. Patis, fish sauce. You can find it in your Asian market section if you're in uh, Florida, all right? Yes. Just gonna mix that together. 
get the taste. You can't go wrong with the patis, I tell you. Yeah, and just a little <laughs> bit of salt to get that going. Who was the chef that you always looked up to you got to finally meet? Martin Yen, actually. Martin Yen? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, we cooked together, and I actually seen him do break down the chicken you know, in, in like uh -huh. two minutes in wow. front of me. And I always loved how... I used to watch cooking shows yeah. while everybody was going outside or you're watching or doing, I was like engulfed in what do you got here shows. akule akule my favorite fish yes you know either just, akule or opelu just fry them with salt and pepper and rice there you go so you just filleted one I just filleted one okay we take out the center bone if nobody ever had this tell them what kind of texture and fl what was it similar to what would be the uh the this is kind of like a mackerel very okay. very uh very oily fish yeah uh you could definitely e easily use a, a snapper or you know like uh, some kind of nice little white fish. All right. So and I'm going, I'm going to slice them. Okay. Just like that, with the skin on. And and uh, when you met the chef, did he know who you were? Uh, surprisingly, yes. What do you uh, mean he, surprisingly? No, of course you, know, you watch Top Chef, right? Yeah, you watch <laughs> Top Chef, and it's crazy how much people I've met that actually. Uh, so you're gonna put that, that right on the rice. I put them right on the rice. I'm gonna take a little bit of salt. Let's do this right here so everybody can see that. Some Hawaiian salt. Hawaiian salt. Ah, I see here. And We're gonna torch that. Now, is this gonna be on your menu? This probably will be. Yeah. Yeah. Again, inspired by like the food that we yeah. we grew up eating. I think the best way you said it was that baby food, <laughs> local Hawaiian baby food. We eat poi or rice and sabao. That's it. Right. That looks good. That's it. That for that and then we wait until that comes up we're gonna just make a little bit of garnish okay on top of here right on that looks good some green onion what are you eating you only made one bowl <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> are you on uh, social media you like to be on social media what yeah, am i talking about it's, it's cool to, to to share with everybody yeah what you doing where, where, where you at where i'm at and yeah. what i what i got going on he's good you got to follow him on instagram stories because he always gives you the view of his hotel room yeah. <laughs> where, he could show you exactly where he's staying. You don't need to look out the window. Yeah. So you're just going to put that right on top just of there. Just pour this right That's on top. It. That's it. How simple was that? That's it. 30 minutes. I guess you take the rice 20 minutes. And then the sabao, 30 minutes. Yeah. And uh, make sure you get some fresh fish. All right. And that's it. That's Garnish. it. Garnish. When we come back, what are you going to make? And then palehu steak. Palehu steak. Don't go anywhere. We got Chef Sheldon here. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Oh, no. Up in the morning and I'm feeling fine On the windward side of life Kinda like a guiding light that shines and all that's right Yeah Rainbows are a common thing We'll kick, keep playing, laugh and sing There's no place I'd rather be This highland lies for me All my brothers and sisters Ka'ana Poly Golf Courses Where the world comes to play at Maui Electric, we keep the lights on, at home, at school, and at work. Together, we're exceeding Hawaii's renewable energy goals. You've made Hawaii the leader in residential solar, and we're introducing Community Solar. You can charge electric vehicles at home and at charging stations throughout Maui. We're committed to a 100% clean energy future, and we'll get there working together. Maui Electric. Empowering our communities. Empowering you. Inspiration is here at Ferguson Bath, Kitchen, and Lighting Gallery. Our experts can help you navigate a range of options so you make the best selections for your home project. Let us shed light on the latest product trends. From lighting to plumbing to appliances, all in one place. Schedule an appointment today for personalized one-on-one -on -one attention dedicated to turning your plans into reality. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Moku Lele Airlines. And aloha show you. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Ka'anapali Beach Resort here at the beautiful Hyatt Regency Maui. Chef Sheldon, what are we doing next? We're going to make uh, pulehu steak. Whether it was fried or whatever, my dad would always say pulehu steak. Yes. But pulehu is usually barbecue or cooking over the, the hibachi. Oh, the, right. And you know, growing up in Hawaii, everybody pulehu because big we had such good weather yeah. right and we were always at the beach 
Yeah. And you always had to eat at the beach, right? And everyone had a responsibility. Yeah. Of, of what was that. your responsibility? My responsibility was make sauce. Make sauce. I was the sauce guy. Yeah, <laughs> to make cool. the sauce for everything. And there was always that one guy that had to make the fire. <laughs> yeah. That? And he was definitely good at that. Yes. He make the teepee style. He get the kiave yeah. wood. My cousin you know? would make the mushrooms with right. the with the sort of thing like a mon right. mon mon for the. <laughs> My brother Adam was responsible for getting the fish and the lobster. Okay. And I was responsible for making the sauce and cooking with the tongs. Everybody had to control the tongs, <laughs> right? So you're gonna do this. Uh, uh, just, with making your own sauce here yeah. because you are the sauce guy. Are you just going to sear all of the sides around? Just going to sear it real quick. This has been uh, kind of tempering, came, came to room temperature, so okay. it cooks evenly. All right. Again, the sauce, super simple. We had a little bit left over of that, uh, that beef fat okay. from earlier. All right. So, I get that in there. And beef fat. Beef fat. And you show put you. some aloha show you in there. Was this your sauce? Uh, when you was growing up or you was just a show you and Tabasco guy? Show you Tabasco, <laughs> vinegar, chili pepper, you yeah. know, whatever I had, chili pepper water. Right. So that sauce inside there, some All right. uh, What do you got some there? Some patis. A, taste, a tablespoon of patis. Some vinegar. A tablespoon of vinegar. A little bit, touch of mirin. Mirin, all right. Inside That's the, there. I love some mirin. Yeah. All right. You just put a, a teaspoon of mirin. Teaspoon of that. And then you're gonna slice a lemon in half. Slice a lemon. All right. What's your What's your uh, favorite restaurant here on Maui besides your own? Oh man. Are you gonna call you out and then put Putting you on the spot? Me on the spot. <laughs> you can name a couple. Okay. You can name a few that uh, you like to go to. I love going to Paradise Market. Oh, nice. Over there, yeah. uh, and that that's a Filipino spot. Uh, you can get whatever you Whatever's like. Right. You know, I usually go with the lechon and and blood meat because okay. I can cook that every day you gotta be careful you know when you get to a certain age you can't eat too much lechon <laughs> you're gonna put some butter in the pan you put some butter in the pan okay what that... else you like where else you like to go eat uh i love to go to uh okis is my okay yeah, okay. yeah. Awesome. they've been around for a long time huh yeah okay uh i go to, i love going to a spot called our -A roots where's our -A roots and at? that's in that's in napili really uh, actually a, a vegetarian spot oh i gotta know? go check that out and i'm surprised super delicious. i'm surprised you didn't say joey's and then that was going to yeah. land on joey's uh, joey yeah. mac dang dang joey he's awesome dang dang. all right okay that is actually gonna pull that okay pull that off that's already seared you don't want to overcook that no and then to usually this. usually will you let that sit for a little bit yeah we let that rest what are you putting in the sauce cilantro garlic okay. chili pepper all right Ogo. Some ogo, which is limo. Yeah. You can find an Asian market dried now if you're looking for a limo. Inamono. Inamono is kukui nut. Yeah. That's what it looks like, the kukui nut. We put that in our poke a lot. I and get some nice some tomatoes over here. All right. I'm going to slice that up. That looks good. It smells ono. I'm slice this steak. Okay. I got you a plate here so we can finish this up. Just put this on the side. How many dishes do you think you're going to put on the new restaurant menu? Uh, probably like 20 or so dishes yeah. that will uh, ever be so, uh, evolving. Yeah. You know, whatever we can get. We're going to do a cart service That's in awesome. the beginning. Yeah. Kind of get people to taste everything. Okay. Right put off little... the bat. A little bit, the, the ogo right inside. All right. Put these tomatoes. Beautiful. On top of there. Look at that. He's going to drip that sauce on top of there. Drip that sauce. All right. When we come back, we're going to look right at the over. final product. We'll see what it looks like. And then we're going to bring back the other dishes and oh, taste them. Don't go anywhere. Chef Sheldon is here. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Looks good, brother. Ladies. Auto Exchange with two locations, Kapiolani in town and in Aiea on Kamehameha Highway. Giving you quality, pre-owned luxury rides. They make it easy with financing and zero down. BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Lexus, Porsche, Lambos, and more. Auto Exchange, giving you the ride you thought you could never afford. Come on down to Auto Exchange.
This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Star Advertiser and Aloha Air Cargo. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kaanapali Beach Resort. Seth, this looks awesome. Yeah, mom. Yes, all right, I'm going to try this. Tell us real quick what you did uh, for us today. Again, bottom of the plate lunch, a dish that mimics that favorite part of, of everyone, the bottom of the plate lunch. Uh -huh. Soup and rice, the dish that is warming because that's one of the first things that we eat as kids. Mm -hmm. And this one, a little bit of kule on top. And then my version of pulehu steak right over there. This is amazing. I like the soup. I like the sauce, sorry. <laughs> awesome. I can taste everything in there that you put in that pot. Yeah. We're going to put the full recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. This is what I was looking forward to right here. <laughs> you, got, you put uh, some of the noodles actually in the sauce on this Yeah, one. we basically made a macaroni salad and pureed it up. Wow. And that's... So simple. Oh. Tell everybody where you are on Instagram. Check me out at Chef Wonder on Instagram and Twitter, and uh -huh. then uh, Chef Sheldon Simeon on Facebook. Congratulations on everything that you've done. You really make Hawaii Thank proud. You. Mahalo to yeah, everybody I'm, out I'm there. I'm glad you finally made it here. Mahalo <laughs> to uh, the Hyatt Maui Regency. Um, also, we got to thank uh, Kaanapali for having us. Look at this. No better place to work, I tell Unreal. you. Check out our website for all the details and all the ingredients uh, for all these recipes. CookingHawaiianStyle.com. Till next time, ahui ho. Hotel accommodations provided by Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa. Air cargo provided by Aloha Air Cargo. Air travel provided by Mokulele Airlines. Lanai's wardrobe provided by Ari South.